Okay. Okay. I gonna contact my friend Abby and we will have conversation today. I'm waiting for her to tune in. Hello, yes. Mm -hmm. Wait, how do I use it? Turn off. Yes. Oof. Abby, join me. Join me. Here you are. Send a question. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Hello. Hey. <laughs> we live now. <clears throat> Hi, girl. She. <laughs> Yay. How is it going? It's good. Everything is good. How are you? Good, too. Good. It's hot here. Getting hot. Oh. California vibes, you know. I know, I understand. That's she, it. How's the weather in Sweden? Cold? It's cold. Yeah. A little bit like we we have sun, but it's a little bit freezing actually. We need to have yeah. like a sweater and a jacket, but it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dance warms you up. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how is it? How wait, why you moved to Sweden, yeah? You was uh, in Norway. No, I loved it, like living in Norway, but like I was trying to find a dance school that had uh, basically styles from hip hop, jazz, contemporary, modern, ballet. Okay. And then I found a school here in Sweden. I'm like, okay, I want to not just focus on my hip hop style, focus on other styles too. So that's why I moved here to Sweden. Ah, okay. Yeah. So maybe you don't have like those different styles, right? We didn't have it actually back then in Norway. Now there's a school called Bordad that has mm -hmm. uh, that same education that has hip hop and also different styles like contemporary jazz. Oh, and, uh, and yeah. And Europe has a lot of hip hop schools. Yes, it does actually. We have like Flow Dance Academy. We have Substance, um, Bordad in Sweden. It's like it's a really a lot of good dancers. <laughs> In Europe, nice. you don't know what, but it's really amazing, actually. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. It's yeah. just when I was growing up, like my mm -hmm. town didn't have anything like that. So, uh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand. No. So now for me hearing like Europe has it, but I watch a lot of videos and I see a lot of dancers from Europe. Wow, they're so dope and they're so unique style. Yeah. They're not like they just unique themselves you know yeah. they're not like oh this is some european style not like that you know yeah they're that is true good. so good yeah this do you do battle by the way do you do battle? what battles battle no battles. i don't do i used to do it a little bit back in norway but i stopped because i was like i need to develop myself actually i needed to just take classes take just learn Mm -hmm. Just like get better and better on my style and other styles, so I'm like, I'm gonna maybe go to battles. Soon. Gotcha. For now, now, yes. Okay. Yeah. So you want to do choreography mostly, yeah? Yes, I like to choreograph. I like to do combos. I like to do projects, and I like I love taking classes. Actually, nowadays I just been taking classes, not like choreographing. Or I teach one class here, but it's like not enough for me i just like to just learn get more information yes and if you have a chance and there's no pa pandemic and you can travel mm -hmm. would you come to la if you have yes of open. course i would love to go to la again and meet you guys yeah, yeah. it would be fun like i love the uh, taking like classes from amanda grind denzel the uh, Devin Solomon also like so many good dancers that I love are in LA and New York and actually I love a lot of dancers here in Europe too so I would love just to go back but I don't want to live in LA I would rather live here in Sweden maybe in Paris I like to like travel around and just see new people and just dance yeah yeah I want to go to Europe I think Europe is so rich for dancers yes really. And they are so 
how to say they're so open yeah you should they, talk. they're so famous and so successful and everything and yeah. at the same time so just like talking to to your friend you know they don't yeah. have kind of like masks or you know they just open they don't it, care it's you know? a little bit actually kind of crazy that here in sweden like it's not as big as it is in other countries like in other countries they've been on lockdown they have to wear masks in buses and like restaurants the, the restaurants are not even open there but he mm -hmm. like people like the recommendation they say use a mask please but some mm -hmm. people don't do it at all we can like you can go out to restaurants you can take the train bus anything with no mask it's a little bit crazy actually that we don't have those kind of restrictions because the corona like spreads so fast so but it is are you on lockdown now you are are you on lockdown now no we're not we have never actually been on lockdown oh wow yeah i know it's crazy right and like, it was okay everything was okay yes i guess like but the death rate got high up but now it slowed down so i guess it's okay but uh, everywhere else got locked down especially Norway too, where I'm from. So, it's wow. Yeah. How is Quick Style doing in Norway? Um, they're doing big. Actually, they're doing really big in China too nowadays. They're doing big in China for many years already. Yes. <laughs> right? Since yeah. 2016, I think. Yeah. Like, huge. I like, know. they've been teaching so many times in China. Mm. Like, they, actually, all the time. Really big, so fast. To be honest. Oh really? But the, but, but they're crazy guys. So that's why, like, the reason why they got really recognition and stuff like that. You think they're fast? There was ten years together be before exposure. Yeah, maybe they got fast here in Norway and Sweden, and then outside. But I felt like it was like everybody knew them, even though they were not big, big. Uh -huh. knew of them uh-huh so then after a while we saw them in all the dance and like they have mm -hmm. a school, stuff like that so it's crazy to see how far they got right now of course yeah yeah of course no it's even cool because because um because of internet now anyone anywhere can be famous you know mm -hmm. and it's good because before it was harder <laughs> Yeah. So it's very good. I like it. Mm. Yeah. So hey, do you have any questions you want to ask me? <laughs> yes. How is it now? Is it different to the dancing in China and in LA? How is it like? What was oh! the big difference for you? <laughs> it's so different. Well, what is like the... actually, for me, especially, it's very different. Because many people who went to China one thing they know is like when you're foreigner in China, mm -hmm. everything comes easy to you and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you're foreigner in China and you came for the contract for half a year, a year, mm -hmm. you work for your company, you teach in your classes, for every job you got, or you touring with artists, or you're working for artists. Of course, everyone will be like, yo, you're so cool and dope and everything. And, mm -hmm. and you will, you will get there because someone invited you right so mm. they want you so you're good or whatever and uh, but in my case i came to china i give up dance a long time ago like five yeah. years of my university mm. so and after finished university i right away had to fly to china uh, just to make long sh story short you know i was dancing since six seven years old mm. i was good I, my main measure is ballet and everything Mm. and but it's not like what i do now right the no. style i do now so um, so actually i got to china i was not good mm. i lose the my form i couldn't remember the moves mm. uh, i wasn't confident no. um the knowledge i had before somehow blurred a little bit that's how i felt you know yeah. anyways but I decided when I finished the university, I just decided to not follow what other people say or my parents say or family say and just start following what I feel. And yes. I really wanted to dance. Yeah. So I got this nice team, like amazing people and everything went to China. So meaning in China, when I came to China, I wasn't no one. And everything was good. 
you know, mm -hmm. but I was the worst in the team, you know, yeah. and um, that's why we was just doing jobs, jobs. A year two later, I just, a year, I think, yeah, I was super exposed to studios. Yeah. Finally, I saw the culture of studios first time because I am from a small town. I was traveling to like America, lived like in pla places, you know, but yeah. I give up dance that time. So I wasn't looking for studios, you know, I didn't yeah. understand the culture. My culture is yeah. the theater, is the yeah. stage, is the ballet, mm -hmm. is different, is traditional dances, yeah. like yeah. Irish dance or whatever, you know. Wow. And yeah, so I came to China and that's when I learned these styles. Mm. So for me, especially now, is very different because I was taught from Chinese perspective mm. to look at these styles, to look at this mm -hmm. culture, yeah. the pop culture especially, mm -hmm. mostly, yeah? Popping culture, locking culture, commercial yeah. culture. Yes. Is, um, how to say, it's after come to China, but it came from Western countries before, right? Yeah. So for me, I was taught the way Chinese do that, you know. So yeah. for me, it's very different. So meaning yeah. is, actually, I, I was a foreigner and everyone would look up to me. But actually, I learned from them. Yeah. And uh, and just took a lot of workshops from, like, foreigners. Like, from yeah. uh, from the same European teachers, American teachers, whatever, you know. Yeah. Any workshop, I was, I was there all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's how I was learning. So now what's the difference for me? is I am going from back to front, <laughs> from oh, there, you know. Travel around. Like, I learned a little bit more in the end. Like yeah. I started maybe in the end and now I'm going yeah. to the roots. That's how I feel. Yes. And I'm just always exploring more and more. But, but, mm -hmm. I, but this other kind of gives me advantage because mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. I really truly appreciate it because I learned in the back and yes. I had so many questions. Yes. And then when I'm going back to the roots, I get yes. answers. Yes. So, and in LA, you know, like here in America, what's the difference? One, one big difference is people really enjoy dancing. Mm -hmm. There's no judgment. No. There's no like, you need to be the best or you need to be something like no one else. So that's when people will like you, you know? In, in LA or in China? Uh, in America, people uh, here just dance. Mm. The first is having fun, and they understand that because it's part of the culture. Yeah. So that's very, that's what I'm actually learning. In China, yeah. I would have so much pressure to put out my choreo or something. Mm. I always have pressure, but very, very, not bad pressure, but too much pressure, you know? Uh, I understand. Like everyone will judge every move just a little mm. bit, and they will say, oh, we can do that too, or something, you know? Oh, mm. it's okay, you know, something, things like that. Instead mm. of, and no one tells you like good things, like yeah. like good things. Yeah, you did this yeah. good, but this might be better. Just mm. don't say anything, mm. you know. And you're always like just trying to push hard, but yeah. no one's really communicating with you, not like sharing with you what they think, you know, mm. or something. Yeah. Even they say something bad is good because you know that oh maybe that was might be bad, you know. But True. here it's more open. People like stand for communities, mm -hmm. um, dance, culture, just partying and, and more yeah. having fun. And of course, in a lab, it's more commercial. Yeah. yeah. You need to look different way, it, a certain way. You need to stand a certain way. Yeah. But that's their circle. That's their community, you know? Yeah. Because um, I felt like when I was in LA, it was a lot of competition. And I know, like, it's a lot of dancers, like, they want to achieve something and everybody want to be the next thing and stuff like that. But exactly. what, what got to me, like, ah, oh, just let's just have fun and dance. But every, like, mm -hmm. some, most of the cl um, classes I took, it was, like, competition, okay. Audition. I'm compete with everybody. I'm going to be the best one. I'm going to be the better one. It was not like, hey, let's have fun, like, enjoy ourselves. It's just like having fun, but no, it's just yeah. like competition. The teachers need to see me. I need to do good to get my, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big job or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, whatever I ask, that's so funny. You, you said it's right, and I don't like it. I don't yeah. like it because I go for culture. I, yeah. I, I, I love dance, you know. Yeah. I, it took me so long to just figure it out, you know. Meaning I've grown up as, I wasn't always in the industry, you know. Maybe those people yeah. are more always in the industry. That's why they just what they know mm -hmm. but for me i know different i know what is be living without dance and how it it's not happy it is no. 
So I really appreciate it. And I just really want to dance good and have good time yeah. Yeah. and vibe, you know, and yeah. create creativity. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to do what someone says, not like someone says, but what should be. I just want to do something what's coming now, coming exactly. out as you came. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's creativity, you know? Yes. So, um, you said that's right. Because, mm. like, when I went to LA, I was like, oh, I'm here to have fun and learn. Me so too, big, same. Yeah, so I did a big mistake taking a lot of classes in um, it's a school called Millennium, you remember? Yeah. Just, like, the vibe there, everybody was, like, competing with each other. It was not, like... I did not have fun, as I could say, because I'm like, ah, oh, I don't want to compete. Yeah. I just want to enjoy dancing yeah. with people. So then I found sm small, like, Debbie Reynolds uh, Movement Lifestyle, Zulu Dance Academy, and it was, ah, uh, oh, what is the other one called? I forgot. But it's, uh, like, a lot of s small dance clubs. Like, it was so much fun to learn underground hip-hop, like, heels every kind of stuff that i would like yeah. contemporary afro like and not big of a dancers or dance teachers and they actually taught me way more than the popular what we see on instagram and stuff like that so that's why i was like ah oh, why am i going there just to be seen or people videotape me and then post exactly. on social media i would rather go to the underground and really learn something and take it back with me so that's exactly. why i like the rest of the two months I was in LA, I just was kind of low-key and like, okay, I'm going to find some small places I can just have fun and dance with really good teachers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One thing, my place where I live now, small town, I was introduced to freestyle culture. Yeah. Here, not too many choreographers or they're no. just coming up or something. No, have, of course, and have yeah. good ones. Yeah. But just a little bit less than I used to, right? I, I yeah. live in Beijing. I'm sorry. There's like so many, so many people talented and good and they train yes. and work hard, you know? So exactly. I just compared to Beijing. Yes. I don't want to say anything, you know? No. So play, uh, this place is small, so less people, you know, maybe doing yes. the choreo. I feel here more is freestyle scene. Yes. And so I was introduced to this freestyle scene and I asked them, uh, and some people was from LA. And I asked them, uh, yo, guys, um, what do you do in L.A.? And they said, we just battle or we yeah. just judge. And yeah. they have totally different scene. Yes. They don't do auditions. They don't do commercials. They don't do all the stuff. They do totally different scene. Or yeah. they just have their own style and they teach. Yeah. And they do totally different. It's, and I asked, yo, guys, do you go over to studios to take classes? They told me that they, the street culture and commercial culture is separated. Mm. So when we travel to LA and we will go to the studios, we should yes. understand is the culture yes. for the work. Yes. And there is another culture in the clubs yeah. or ciphers or battles mm. Mm. or freestyle sessions, which is yeah. more like you just go and you vibe and no one mm. cares. You just yes. do you. No. So, so different, you know. But that's what people don't understand. Like where dance started from, it started from the streets. It started from people just freestyling and then making combos, and now it became like called choreography. People like taking it far, but like actually, where it started from, people just dancing, having fun on the streets, and then it got like, I like that people appreciate us. Like, hey, you came from nothing, but we're gonna give you money so we can see you dance more, and I like that. But don't like forget a hey, where I came from I came from there and then now I'm big I don't care about that like I always like to just freestyle and have fun like those kind of stuff really makes me happy to see when people freestyle just just dancing in the street having fun that is like, really cool totally agree with you you're just like saying the same I think really yeah. totally agree with you yeah you know it's all started from the streets and mm -hmm. actually I got piece of history on on LA studio vibes when yeah. it started in 90s yeah. whatever yeah. it just started from the same Buddha stretch now I'm at I, I took classes from Buddha stretch you know the originator of hip-hop yeah Buddha yeah. stretch yeah from New York yeah. so I'm taking his classes now regularly and it's just because I, I told you I'm going back to roots and I don't care like whatever I teach or put in my choreo I need to know what it came from Mm. because I, you know it's just my perspective anyways uh, 
he was telling he was telling like how they did before right uh they would they did this club scene right it started yeah. popping up people started yeah. noticing it right yeah. and 90s it became like nationwide for america yeah. and artists started using it like missy elliott especially mm -hmm. michael jackson they used the old school hip-hop moves from these guys yeah implemented into the things like yeah. this chicken head this mm -hmm. move, but it's called janet because janet jackson yeah. used it so exactly. point is these guys was doing like their thing just having fun like they mm -hmm. say going to club to take a girls to, to yes. catch a girl you know exactly and, and someone noticed them and they asked them to choreograph or put mm -hmm. these moves into some moves for stage exactly and that's how it started to transform into the exactly. thing exactly. and for example in la marty kudalka he teaches his classes Marty Kudaka, he's a Timberland, uh, Timberlake, Justin Timberlake's choreographer. Uh -huh. And he's, num he's the first who introduced pocket to the, mm. to the vocabulary of, of scene, of dancing, of yeah. like we call it commercial. Mm. But Abby, believe me, when you take his class, um, I understand where, it, where it studio culture comes mm. from. Yeah. And he teaches differently he still uses he names the steps when he teaches really yes and his pocket and his execution and everything is making sense yes. meaning take you and me we learn all these basics we know the roots and culture mm -hmm. we're now turning it into, into something different yeah but we're still reminding people where it came from exactly. and we teach it Mm. We turn into something which is okay, mm. but we keep we keep it as it was, you know. Yeah. Like you know. Mm. So he is very that vibe, but yes. I, many others, um, just choreography. That's it. Yeah. Um, not many others. Like I don't know, just yeah. some moves. You need to name them. They have a name. They came from somewhere, and when they just like, oh, do this. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, this movie is like official move from hip hop. Why you just wouldn't exactly. say the name and everything? Yes, and that's what I feel like they should also like do all the time. They have to like appreciate culture. Period. Exactly, Period. bring it up where it came from. Like, it not did not came from nothing. It came from somewhere, and people don't appreciate like where the culture like enough. And like when you teach, like, okay, do this step. That's it. I'm like, okay, and then step. I'm like, no, like, do you guys know what's, what it's called? No. I'm like, it's called the Bart Simpson. It came from this and this and this. Like, you need to know your steps. You need to know, like, exactly background. Even though when you teach, like, just teach facts. Don't teach, like, something. Or, like, if you got asked to teach a class and you don't know anything about the culture. Yes. I don't say, I'm not saying, like, don't go teach Maybe you have danced hip hop. Maybe you have danced contemporary for a long time. Okay, but I don't know where the steps come from. Blah blah blah. Go study. Like just take time to study before you teach the class and teach you something you should also should know. And uh, if you don't are not willing to like learn the culture, I feel like you, they should not teach it. Like they need to like exactly. know a little bit. It doesn't have to be a big deal. Like, just a little bit, so like they can. <laughs> Like teach uh, like around the world. Like I feel like everybody should know something about the culture before like learning steps. Yeah, believe me, I took so many thousands of workshops. Yeah, dance camps, any mm. classes. I've been there, you know. Mm. I, I I like when I go to the class, like five minutes, I already know what it will be about, you know. Mm. And uh, I wish more people give like teachers. Not just teach combo, but teach knowledge, which can yeah. take you five, ten years yeah. ahead, yeah. instead of yeah. just focusing on the combo and teaching yeah. good combo yes. or teaching this combo good way. You know, mm. it's big difference. It's big difference. Yeah. But there's the difference course. between teacher and dancer. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but like I was gonna say, like of course, like we're all human. We all can forget what is the step is called or like where it came from. Like people can forget stuff. But that you have a little bit of knowledge, like, okay, so the dance came from this place, this place, and then it got affected, like, with 
um, breaking cartography, some like like unity you know just a little bit so you can give them enough and be like oh i forgot what this movie is called like but i know it back in my head but we are human i'm like okay maybe it's called out you know but like yeah. maybe you need to like yeah let people slide sometimes if they forget it's acceptable but yeah. they know like they know but they forgot it so i think at least if they know it's good yeah and they teach it also to the students it's really good uh, do you teach now or you mostly just taking classes i'm mostly taking classes i just have one class in a studio called ballet academy but i used to teach a lot back in norway okay and uh, it was really fun but it was like because i never took dance school i never took like a really big big education back in norway i just like to freestyle for myself and then take some classes from really good teachers like henry link me all founded the hip hop culture yeah. so i really like he taught me like a lot of he said we're going to teach you guys 50 step a day and he said this is not enough like there's more and more like 200 300 400 yeah. steps that we could know about so that actually opened my mind and then when i start teaching i didn't know anything i didn't know anything about the names and stuff like that so i'm like a oh, shit but i want to really uh, teach them stuff so i'm like okay you guys need to work on your bounce groove this comes from this this a little bit sometimes i also forget like where it comes from so i would uh, ask my teacher hey should i really teach this class i'm a newbie i haven't like taken education i've just been freestyling and she's like that's how teachers came from they were freestyling they've been learning like by themselves and that's how we have dance dance came from like the streets and then some people oh can we learn it and then they taught them a little bit and they were like yeah do the tootsie roll do the cabbage bag like yeah like, okay maybe i can teach but i should have maybe did extra research research so i can know every every steps that i did but i knew some small steps uh but i really wanted just to focus on bounce grooves and stuff like that with them oh my god that's so videos you're mm -hmm. so good in that oh thank you god, girl. <laughs> you're so good in that I'm, i don't <laughs> only do hip hop i do a lot of stuff i do commercial i do a little bit now everything yeah but yeah. like your grooves it's just this year i wasn't well, like one year training properly mm -hmm. and i have like stiff back and this mm -hmm. my stiffness came back a little okay. bit i can't mm -hmm. feel it you know and it, i'm yes. so like oh but i was long time just like grooving grooving you know to like just lose my upper body because it was yeah. so stiff from ballet basics to yeah. and you know so i i love your like I, i feel like i'm also a little bit stiff in my movement i can be looser if you know what i mean yeah so i'm working on that actually also to be like more like because this actually has something to do with my breathing i don't think i'm i'm breathing enough so the yeah. movement like flows in me i'm like more because i used to when i started dancing i started with hip-hop and crump so i used to be like angry crump like everything was like yeah stiff. so nowadays i'm like okay relax don't do all hard movement just relax and like focus on your like yeah movement, the movement and mm. stuff like that where, where did you take the brand links classes which Hands classes link Henry Link's classes. What Why did, you... did I take it? Where, oh. where, where? Oh, I took it in Norway. He, um. I think he used maybe to live in Norway or who just came to teach. Uh, it was something called Dance Explore, Explosion? Explosion? I don't know. It was mm -hmm. like a week full of different teachers and uh, you can sign up for which teacher you take. We had from popping, hip hop, commercial, It was a long time ago. It was, I think it was two. It was just convention, I think, or just week of, just yeah. a event. When <laughs> I saw his name, because when I started dancing, I'd like watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos with him and other people. Okay. When I saw his name to sign up, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be there every day to just learn a little bit from a guy from America who came to Norway. I need to take his class. Same, same. Yeah. I took his first class and do the yeah. stretch. Paris Gobel mm. and uh, whatever like top 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 you know like and yeah. it was 
somewhere in the south of China, so so far. Mm-hmm. And I was so busy at the time, but I anyways make a spot. I flew there. Yeah. And I just took so many classes and I was like, wow. Yes. But that time for me was like the beginnings of understanding of like old school hip hop and everything. Yeah. So, but now, uh, actually, I like online classes a little bit because it's much cheaper and time co- less time consuming. Yeah. It's I online. Take, you just pay like, 20 bucks and you just take a class. I'm taking uh, Instagram live classes, but I haven't taken like Zoom live classes or other live classes. Oh, I'm whole year just trying to keep it up. I'm training <laughs> myself. I'm training with my team. Yeah. I'm training, taking classes. Uh, and But now I take Buddha Stretches class. It's so amazing. Mm. Now imagine yeah. me going to New York. How much money I need to spend to, to mm. just take his classes. Yeah. Living, flying, food, time-wise too, you know? True. I think because here we don't have a lockdown and stuff like that. Everything was open so we could take also some days this dance school was locked down but everything else was open so i could go out and dance with my friends we didn't have to be on zoom so that's why maybe for us we didn't think much of to take live classes but i would i I love taking live classes from instagram from dancers that i love like shay toby like your shay my god he's yeah So it was really fun to take those classes, but I didn't think much of it that I need to take Zoom classes because I had like classes here that I can just run gotcha. it. Yeah. But now is the point the top teachers of the world teaching mm-hmm. online and you just yeah. pay online and here you are, you know, mm-hmm. like how would maybe that would be even now traveling somewhere. If you even want to yeah. take the classes, that would be like somewhere in, in the world, you know, and you're yeah. like, oh, but I cannot take his class. You know what I mean? That like, is true. Like now, I, 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 mean, I was enrolled too in Keone and Mari's program. Ooh, yes. You know, like Keone is just telling you like, oh, here is no good and here is good. And Mari the same, mm-hmm. you know. Like I, I kind of enjoy that. Mm-hmm. It, it's very different habit skills mm-hmm. my, and mindset. Yeah. It's sometimes very hard. It's sometimes very boring. Sometimes yeah. gets when you especially learn choreo yourself, like watching yeah. the screen. Who is the hardest? But when you pass that first step, that's when yeah. shit like comes, like enjoyable. You exactly. start to like practice those moves. You start yeah. feeling it out. You start feeling your pocket, pocket. Yeah. Then you record yourself. Then you watch, and then you kind of get it. Like and it's just like when you take live classes, it would take you like one hour, right? <laughs> But yes. when you yourself, it takes you like five hours. Exactly. <laughs> it's the same thing. It takes so long time. It's But you crazy. know, I always say no excuses. You just just need to keep going. You just need to grow. Period. Like yes. online, not online. Oh my god! If I could come from my small town, travel through the globe, find yeah. out my purpose. Heck, yes. online, no online. I don't care. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's how I started dancing. Like where I'm from, we had a, like a small. Uh, community we didn't have big dance schools so I just like search on YouTube like and I just starting doing research and learning myself and that's like people like take it for granted now when we have dance classes dance schools people don't realize hey you also have opportunity to learn yourself from YouTube or from like live videos and stuff like that so I really appreciate that we have everything like actually knowledge at hand by ourselves like back in the days nobody had youtube nobody had dance classes they always go to the street <coughs> dance so yeah i feel like really happy to be in this world where we can like have options either dance schools live yeah. youtube like you have so, so many accessible options. right yeah, exactly everything is there what do you complain exactly. it's the first time oh my god mm-hmm. amazing time exactly before yeah. you want you cannot you know no Before you'd be like, oh, I really want to learn. I, I, I really and that's it. That. There's nothing. Really no do. opportunities. Really no, no platform. Really no. You just have to walk in on the street and see somebody that dances. Hey, teach me. <laughs> that's how yeah. you do it. Before, yeah. And now, after this year lockdown, when I had get into that studio, yeah, I 
fucking appreciated it so much that yeah. I understood how for granted I was taking everything okay. because China was developing so fast. Yeah. There's so many teachers teaching like almost every day. And we was already like going for class, like, mm. like regular class. Like it's regular, you know? Yeah. When I get to the studio this time, I was like, thank you. Oh my God. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it was, but by this time I was training in millennium mostly. Mm. It was a little bit hard for me because too much jazz, yes. the commercial stuff. Yeah. But I was just like, just go, just do it. Just yeah. do it. You know? Exactly. That's right. Don't don't complain. Just dance mm. jazz. Okay. Mm. Where else you will dance jazz? You don't dance jazz for yourself. So right. learn. Learn yeah. your track pocket. You know? Learn, exactly. learn control. Le learn practice your lines. Blah blah exactly. blah. You know? Yeah. And that's what I love actually about Asian culture, like the Chinese, the Japanese, the Korean. They have really good work ethic. Like they work their asses off. They go take a classes when the teachers say, please rehearse on this or this or that. They go the well. practice, 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 practice. That's so crazy. Here in Europe, I don't feel like people are doing the same thing. They just go take classes. Okay, I learned this and then I go home. Oh, I'm tired. I'm just going to chill a bit. Maybe I will start rehearsing tomorrow and then mm -hmm. tomorrow comes and then the next in day. In China, comes. yeah. In China, three years, four years, I didn't have any day offs or something. No. I, what I know is wake up in the morning, go to company, and go back yeah. home really late. And it's every day. There's, there's, it, that's, that's mindset. That's yeah. hard work ethic. Mm -hmm. That's how I know. That's why I'm here. I'm, I would practice over and over again, over and over again, like a thousand times, one piece, yeah. maybe yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah. And someone would say, and people here would tell me, believe in yourself you're talented mm -hmm. i'm like i know i'm talented i believe in myself but that's practice. how i become good i'm a repetition yeah. exactly i need to perfect it yeah. i need to perfect it mm -hmm. period and like sometimes when i teach here like when i do the same movement over and over and over again they were like oh we've done it so many times can we just move on i'm like but like okay i see that you really didn't get it let me just show you like you need to really practice on it. it doesn't take you one time two times three times it takes you actually a thousand times to do the step till you get it so people don't understand that like it, it's progress you need to really work your ass up to get what you want in life that's why i created my team and with the team i would do these things yeah. like for an hour maybe a couple mm -hmm. of moves and just practicing drilling yeah. You know, in classes, you kind of cannot do that because if it's choreography no. classes, what they care of about mm -hmm. is no. only like that piece of choreo, you know, mm -hmm. like they want to come, they want to teach, the, uh, learn this choreo and go home. It's just exactly. what they care. You tell them the basics yeah. and everything. I taught in Beijing University, like mm -hmm. dance for mm -hmm. like university for dancers, mm -hmm. like they get diploma. This... They would not drill it. No, they would don't give it heck about it they will just want to choreo and go choreo and go you try to explain okay. to them basics you try to train them the proper way they will not come to your class they will think you're boring teacher or you're not cool or something like that I'm like, yeah what excuse me like guys you know yeah i know it's just like studio vibe you know yeah. but it's yeah. university you're like future future of china you know yeah that's it oh but like yeah. other, other people can do like what they want if you really want to become something like you should take your time and stuff. if you just want to dance just for fun you do that like i don't mind but like think about what you're doing you okay you're doing uh, like for example besides classes like in sweden or in europe in general like how is mm -hmm. the like artist industry, like dancers and dancing for artists, like for singers, mm -hmm. recording mainstream people. Like and how is that part of industry? This is actually really big, but it's mm, a good question. I it's think, not really big, yeah? Yeah, yeah it is big, but I think uh, like 
really known teachers here in Sweden or really known teachers in Norway, they would choose mostly their friends they know like, oh, I know she's good. I'm going to take her and this and this. Sometimes they don't give opportunity to other dancers that really like worked hard to like, oh, maybe I want to try to dance with the artist. Okay. But not all of the dancers. Actually, some of the teachers, they give opportunity to be like, oh, I like your style. Maybe you want to join me. I'm going to okay. program to this artist, to this artist. So it's like, nowadays we don't have it because of Corona, but like before it used to be like big, a lot of people went with artists and stuff like that. And I feel like here in Sweden, they, we have so many jobs, like we can do a lot of stuff for artists, be a background uh, dancer. And yeah. have a lot, yeah, Sweden. Yeah, yeah. We have, Sweden, I feel like we have a lot of jobs. Like How that. many like big cities you have in Sweden which is like involved into industry or involved actively involved into like dance in any in any way the I only know three big cities in Sweden it's uh, Gothenburg Stockholm where I live now and Malmö I feel like it's really big dance culture in these three Wow, that's cities. so yeah. cool. Because yeah. I tell you, Hungary just have Budapest. They mm -hmm. have smaller places, but only like Budapest. Yeah. So it's a little bit, um, when you I uh, talk to my friends, like dancers mm -hmm. from Hungary, they like yeah. always compl like complain that it's, that it's small, that it's mm -hmm. not that much opportunities, that's not yeah. too much artists, that's mm -hmm. only a couple of studios. Ah. like you know they feel that yeah. the, the area geographic like the territory is a yeah. little bit small and it's less opportunities for them yeah and they mostly didn't go to um, uh, like america or something yeah. they mostly stay in in europe yeah and they work with some like artists european mostly mm -hmm. but they still say these things so that's why I ask you, how is the Sweden? Because Europe, mostly countries are small, yeah. like very small. So that's but, why I mean this, like, how do you feel? Like, for example, in China, market is huge. Yeah. You can just like huge, huge, you don't care. No, no. You know, if yeah, something, know. you don't care because if one, not one artist, another artist. So that's why, yeah. how, how do you think now? Yeah, I feel like here in Sweden, I like, Actually, really big artists came out like from Sweden to other words like. Let me. Is the Robin the right. from Sweden? Who? Robin is from Sweden. Uh, Robin. 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 I forgot her famous song. She blew up like five uh, years ago with that one song. I think so. Yeah, Robin. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then really? Sa Sara. Do you know Sara Lasho? She is really big actually now in other places in America. She was on the Ellen show a couple months ago, last month maybe, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Really big artists come out from mm -hmm. Sweden, I feel like, in other countries. So, That's dope. Yeah. Yes, I love it. It's, I think it's really cool. And then she doesn't have like agencies or nothing, just people know each other and they will ask. Like, oh, I know these dancers, or I know this studio owner, and they will just ask who you like know. I told you, like I told you, people, dance teachers, when they get the job, oh, I have my friend, I know she can do this job. Like, they give their friend the job. Yeah, to people who they know. Yeah. Now I'm in an agency called The Amber Camp. Oh, okay. Uh, I think they've been having it a while ago. And then I know the other one is called Stockholm Dance Agency, I think it's called. So I only know two, maybe it could be a lot of more agencies, but people around here, I feel like don't need agencies because they get jobs through their friends or like through an artist looking, looking at their Instagram. Oh, you're like really good. I want to choose like in this. Yeah. Because Instagram. Like everybody knows everybody. Yeah, yeah. It's really, the, the dance community here in Sweden, like, it feels like everybody knows everybody if you're in the dance community. Mm -hmm. I love it, though. It's really, like, even though we are a lot of dancers, somehow, you be like, oh, I've seen her before. Oh, I know of her and stuff like that. So, it's really cool. 
I travel the world and wherever I go, I meet someone. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just like that. And if you just meet like people even, yeah, dance community is even smaller than just everyone in the earth, right? Exactly. So of course you will meet someone. It's, it's just how to say uh, frequencies, you know, yeah. energy, yeah. attraction or something. Yeah. You will go to places those people go because you in the same frequency think same or something you know exactly. yeah um that's why you're meeting it we're yeah. meeting them yeah wow okay i'm already shocked from our conversation i have so much new information yeah, like first of all quarantine you never quarantine there nope. second of all you're telling me is big industry which i i always thought like in europe each country is has a little bit problems with that because of the nope. Um, uh, of the territory mostly it's small yeah third of all ah what was third yeah anyways you you like give me new perspectives to think yeah. about new information it's a yeah yes. yeah it's like something i thought differently and now i will be thinking about what you told me like more and try to research yeah. as well yeah to have more information and yeah it's cool it's cool i really like it i like our talk yeah. <laughs> me too i really like it <laughs> yeah yeah anyways you you anything for me you want to ask more Ooh. i don't know i forgot if i asked you this earlier when i was in la with you uh -huh. how long did you live in china was it eight years? years oh eight years i thought it was ten years so yeah. would yeah. it be now yeah. <laughs> do you miss it like do you want to oh move back i i miss it of course it's my home i know. I, I didn't i live day by day there you know yeah. but i didn't just leave like i'm a guest i went into culture into language yeah. all my friends are chinese people mostly not foreigners because foreigners mm. actually came and go back came mm. and go back they never like stayed stayed no and whatever foreigners i met on my way yes. they were just like oh i just want to dance and then just dance but i had more yeah. serious plans yes. so i just couldn't do with them certain things no. so i don't they didn't really make too much foreigners friends you know yes. and and beijing doesn't have a lot of like good foreigners dancers no. you know no. it's more they're more in shanghai oh. and yeah but we have couple of course yeah. But more in Shanghai, like foreigners. But what Beijing has is has strong Chinese community dancers, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. best of the best, you know. Yeah. Now there's more cities besides Beijing. Yeah. Um, grown up because of Quick Crew, because of Kinjas. Yeah. Another city which opens mm -hmm. studios from these guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're so strong now. There's so many dancers there. Yes. That's and crazy. actually, not because of Kinjas and there's there's one. Chinese studio which is very very strong by themselves so mm. uh, that city is now popping also Shanghai mm. like th like three dance centers now yeah. I can say like a lot big amount of like three LA's mm. for real. like meaning like mm. dope sh dope things like mm. I don't I don't say like every city has to a lot of studios mm. but dope dope when you like mm -hmm. see it and you're like wow yeah it's like these three cities yeah yeah so Ooh. and it's coming more i i'm sure when i go back to china mm. it's china growing so fast it's yes. everywhere so different yes and i was living in south for three years in another city and then i left and i moved to back moved to beijing yeah when i go back one time in two years maybe to that city mm. i couldn't yeah. recognize it I, I didn't know where to go. Everything changed so much. Yeah, I can understand. Oof. Yeah, you know, yeah. and dance industry. I mm. came to China 2012. Yeah, there was wow. nothing. Dancers no. would be like underground, super underground style. Mm. There was only KOD. You know, KOD no. competition. There's. I think it's the mm -hmm. Asian franchise competition. Oh, okay. On like more old like WOD, but. It was okay. before, it was maybe since 2005 until 2015, something, okay. those times. Yeah. Okay. 
and it was all very like more underground everything mm-hmm. was more simply there wasn't too much money involved in that you no. know no. and dancers was paid little that was trying to rent places and cooperate with business people who will mm-hmm. own those places yeah yeah uh, that will try to hold rehearsals there yeah. and make their classes and split money mm-hmm. from the classes mm-hmm. because it couldn't afford like own studio to buy yeah. own place you know and make a studio whatever yeah. but starting 2016 wd mm-hmm. came to china it should try yeah. to came to china everyone started to be crazy about teams mm-hmm. but competing showing off because people go to these competitions, like those couple of studios, mm. and when they show them what they got, everyone, mm. wow. And they're just yeah. like, they have legacy now. It's not yeah. even about you're good or not, they're just special, you know, mm. kind of things. So 2016, these two competitions came, changed the game. Yes. Came to TV shows. Chinese made their own original TV shows. Mm. By the way, very cool show. It's about more street styles instead Ooh. of choreography. Yes. Exactly. What because is as a street dance of China. Check it up in YouTube. Street, uh, street yeah. dance of China. Of China. Yes, mm. street dance of China. Mm. Actually, choreographers was a little bit mad about it because mm. we was like, oh, how is street dance? is dance and there's no choreo. But now when I'm more into like the roots thing mm. or like roots of dance, yeah, I understand that those directors they mm. really want that r- original culture that's mm. why when you go for the show like for yes. example i invite you to participate right yeah would ask you do you you will ask them what i should do what i should dance what do you want me to dance hip-hop yeah. jazz whatever they say yeah. what is your style yeah show it to us they don't want anything they want you what do you yeah. got show us and rounds go usually when you tie like say mm-hmm. when you lose yeah and mm-hmm. get out of the show yeah it will be battles mm-hmm. mostly battle system yeah, yeah. you need to battle others mm-hmm. and if you lose maybe you will leave the show mm-hmm. something like that so this show gave exposure to dancers now dancers are the same famous because of this show hey. as a superstars with like microphone who sings. Mm-hmm. I'm, wow. I'm serious i'm not joking uh <laughs> and they the class like yeah. one class maybe cost like thousand dollars from them just like one, any class one class co- cost one thousand dollars maybe even more i don't know they like super superstars yes thousand dollars a yeah. lot of the last season last year's season the finale was in the stadium oh it's really popping like people watching it people into yeah. it they're succeeding each year yeah. they're leveling up so badly mm. and all these dancers who was underground, when I came to Beijing, I trained with them. They were so mm. dope, but they wow. just didn't have exposure. No one cared about them. Yeah. Now they're so famous, they don't teach. They just yeah. teach like workshop like one, per, one time per year and it costs yeah. a lot. And they usually just, they work for fashion weeks. They yeah. work with the mainstream artists. The yeah. choreograph, they're like superstar status. Now they all open own studios, mm. own companies, yes, own teams, own production. They have money for that. Wow. You know? That is actually now, yeah, in back in the days nobody paid dancers really good money because like they didn't think they needed that much because they don't see how many hours we rehearse, how many time it takes us to like do something for like T V show for a dance event or like dancing in artist like people ask you hey can you do like a 30 minute show we'll give you maybe a hundred bucks I'm like wait but all it yeah. took is idea i understand yeah. i know i know everywhere is this problem yeah. but what i say about those directors when mm-hmm. they talk when mm-hmm. they talk about that show for example mm-hmm. I, I participated in t- season two when they when they talk about the show we have a meeting to everyone mm-hmm like 100 dancers come on the first round yeah and when they explain that they just say we really care Mm -hmm. you know they're not lying they're not doing Mm -hmm. it for another purpose you know we really care for the culture we won't give you guys chances we want you be doing good because Mm -hmm. you deserve you're so hard working Mm -hmm. and we won't bring dance on another level all all what it took is idea of few people to create this kind of show 
yeah and cooperate with kind of platform yeah and yeah. make exposure to that mm -hmm. and it worked and now they you know people watching yeah. so exactly. when people watching they're making money so then yeah. they can pay and then so exactly millions of people watch them yeah. like millions literally i'm not joking exactly i feel like every dancers professional dancers should get paid a lot of money like equal money like we put money on our education we put money on taking classes we put money on a lot a lot of stuff like we buy so much stuff to be where we are now when i say like buy so much stuff what i mean like you spend your money oh i want to take this uh, i want to learn but, something from this teacher i want to learn from this from that like you invest in yourself and but you know what abby is everything is business too you know if you cannot mm -hmm. sell the product yeah it, you know yeah but i feel uh -huh. like oh if you asked for me hey can you like do a dance show for this this gig or this project or stuff like that I'm like okay hey this is my budget like if he says like 10 minute show i'm like okay i take this this is amount like or if he tells me we can only pay you like this much i'm like um i cannot say yes to this because i know i'm worth more i've been like studying dance and i've been learning the culture i've been doing so much stuff that i like i live by dance people should understand like we dancers we live by it like we cannot pay rent we cannot pay anything if you give me like we in, in sweden we, we would say like 500 kroner we would we cannot survive for like 500 kroner is like 50 bucks in uh yeah uh, i know, I know. Like, they should I know. pay us like enough so we can survive we can like pursue our dreams pursue like to like they can they don't see sometimes that we take so many hours to rehearse take so many hours to be better take so many hours to like give them a really good performance they don't appreciate that they're like oh good job like yeah take your 50 bucks i'm like hey you know how much hours i've been doing this kind of stuff and you just give me 50 bucks is like it doesn't make sense to me you should pay me more of but i know course. it's like business but they should understand like hey i'm you're you have a business you work for your business and you earn so much money and I, dance is like my own what's it called income system is my business so-called if i want to say so so it's like hey i don't know i'm just i understand this friend, mentality friend. Totally. Yeah. And I understand dancers and I understand people who paint. Mm. I understand both sides. I just wish there's more people who can make m more market for dancers. Create more those platforms so mm. dancers can sell. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you cannot fight the market. You know, market dictates no. you the mm. thing. Like, for example, like, okay, when you... Okay, I... Like from my experience, I watched these young kids who was trainees. I professionally mm -hmm. trained like young K pop artists to yeah. become superstars, right? In like whatever time. Yeah. They train even harder than dancers yeah. because they have acting classes, they have singing classes, mm -hmm. and they have dancing. They have mm -hmm. a lot language, pronunciation classes, yeah. whatever, because they need to talk certain way, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. They need to, to dress a certain way. You know, they have mm -hmm. so much things. And they plus, they, they need to promote their stuff to yeah. company controls all of that. Mm -hmm. Meaning is, every artist you see puts a lot of work, whatever. Yeah. Is the point is what sells, you know? Mm -hmm. Like for people, I tell you one this thing. You, eyes look, right? Mouth mm -hmm. talk words. Yeah. Mouth yeah. smell, yeah? yeah? The ears hear. So now take yeah. dance. If you put a dance through uh, these four ways of um, receiving information, yeah, uh, like uh, what is working for dance? Mm. Eyes because you see the moves, and ears because you hear the music. And when it matches whatever, yeah, moves was the music, you can mm. feel something, yeah, because something yeah. hit, whatever. Mm. Now mm. take a song. If I'm singer and I'm singing, yeah, take a song. I can watch her sing, I can hear her sing, you know, and like the words, like, like touching me. You see, one song can sell millions. Yeah, one yeah. dance doesn't sell millions. Actually, yeah. no, dance now sell millions in YouTube. Yeah. When there's views, 
you know but, it just doesn't doesn't have a market you know what uh, i mean sure but it does actually though like when you watch um big events like you know like football players soccer players they have a they get paid actually first of all a lot of money oh. to just kick a ball throw a ball i'm like uh, it's not jazz <laughs> it's hard work too. i know no i know it's like <laughs> they're athletes of course but that's the thing people don't understand dancers are athletes too and we don't get paid as much as they do so to me, for me like like when you for example i'm gonna reference um what's it called super bowl uh, like they have a big show every time yeah they have so many dancers Yeah. I don't know dancers that have been on the show but I don't think they get paid enough as the athlete 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 uh, that course. plays. So I'm like why? Cuz you need to you need to have a show to like keep up your audience. We are like we are entertainment people just like a movie is an entertainment. Why main actors in the movie and background actors like background actors like how how to call background actors when there's yeah. many people right yeah yeah uh, extra extras extra yeah, extra people yeah why yeah. main actor and extra get paid differently because they're like really good and they choose you that's the thing about like if i get chosen by a big company hey we really like uh, your dancing we want to offer you this kind of job but they always always offer you a small amount because they know if you don't say yes they can go to the next dancer and the next dancer they'll be like oh i just want to have an opportunity to exactly. work on my tv and i'm going to say yes for less money and that's what a lot of people do do a mistake like when i say no then they will find another small dancer like hey would you do it i'm like yeah for the experience i want to do it for free i don't care But I'm like, no, you should also know you are worth more than what they're giving you because the always when you you do a, like a big performance, a big a job, they have money. They paid the photographer, they paid the cameraman, they pay the producer, the project team. They pay them so much money, and you are the star, and they don't give you much enough. So for me, that's a the bit dancers in the show is not a star. Dancers in the show no. are workers. The same nice. as a light guy, the same as a camera guy. Yeah, yeah. It's, no. uh, it's just a workers. Like dancers misunderstand that a little bit too, you know. But mm. that's just how it is. Like, but but, but I agree. I I would love the dancers will be treated the same as an artist because okay. they show off their face on yeah. the stage, body, the moves, the mm. craft. So, but they are treated as workers. Yes. Not every time, because there's so many amazing singers who treat dancers very well, mm. but there's still a lot who doesn't. And yeah. I know because I work with so many artists, I know how they really treat them, how mm. they think. You know, when mm. I became choreographer and became in the director's team, mm. and when we have a meetings, mm. I can hear how they talk about dancers. Mm. I can understand what's the mentality towards dancers. Before mm. I would be dancer, right? And I would yeah. not hear them talking like that, right? Yeah. But when you the part of the team, and yeah. you hear them talking, you understand. And and we, for them, it's just like a list of names, yeah. and it's just a team, list of name, and this is a team, and yeah. listen, it's dance team, is a stage team, is lightning team, yeah. is the sound team, and it's just list, but. Yeah. But special people is like name this, name this, name yeah. is the who's starting. Is yeah. why these people paying this money to come. So all of us gonna get paid as yeah. well. You know, yeah. is like I understand like dancers, artists like complain about this, but mm. that's business as well. You know, like yeah, they're not paying like we get paid just because that superstar is there because people yeah. came to watch them. That's why yeah. we are there. We're not there to show off ourselves. We're there to to help this artist to do their job yeah, yeah. and to bring joy to to those people who came to watch that artist, but not yeah. us. You know, yes. we no one. We just we just make stage beautiful. Yes, kind yes. of. You know, 
I, 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 and I understand that part. Like I always like help people, like my friends, if they are singers or so, I would help them. Of course, they're my friends, upcoming artists and stuff like that. But if we live by dance and we have our incomes from dance, I feel like we should get paid more, even though I'm doing this job because it's fun to do it. So I really want to dance. Oh, on stage again, it's fun. But would I quit my normal job to be on that job and don't have money to pay my rent? At least pay me so I don't have to work at my normal job so I can be with you, so I can pay my uh, rent and stuff like that. So I get that part like, yeah, we should help them like have fun. I love that part, but also like they should think she's doing us also a favor coming, making the audience like, hey, look at this dance. It looks so sick. Look at the artist. They give the stage like a fulfillment. Oh, they yeah. They appreciate us like doing that for them, giving them like some attention. And then we don't get nothing. Like you'll be like, yeah, good job. We get a clap. No, like I need more. I need to pay my rent. That's like my mentality. Like feel like we do so much stuff, but don't get enough back. This why I stopped dancing hmm. <laughs> for the shows. <laughs> I couldn't handle it. A I lot of people that. like if you want to pursue dancing, like you need to put everything on the table. And it's actually really hard. People don't understand, like it takes a lot of money. It takes time. If you want to have a normal job, but you want to pursue dancing, but you are you willing to offer a lot of money to just be a dancer? And for me, I, yes, I don't, I, to me, I don't think about money, but when I see, at least I need to pay my house. I need to pay my food. I need to pay like, just bills i don't need extra money just enough to like it doesn't matter about it so what you should do is you should to do your own thing you know what's own thing is online thing now is the best time to create your own things you know yeah yeah for example if you have name yeah and you're a dancer you will be treated differently that's yeah. but that's that's mentality you should work for, you know, to like be uh, the kind of dancer, yeah. not like to be, but it, anyways, it's, it's the same problems everywhere. It's like I two like... sides of one coin, you know, like, yeah, yeah. You, you're making one perspective, you're making another perspective. Both are right. Both are there and both are real. Right. Yeah. And I think dancers around the world, whenever they are, wherever they are, mm. same, same mentality. Same, same problems, you know, because it, yeah. it is that it's real life, it, right? This is, yeah, this is what like all dancers go through. So it's not, yeah. not new, it's the same. Every, I feel like it's the same everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Like, for example, okay, this is happening. What do you think? How it can, can change? And okay, if it's change and how you want to see this change, for example, what will be perfect like picture for you as a dancer? how it should be oh. and you will be satisfied oh. and if you have that picture the third question how long time you think it will take industry to change or something to change to get there like this three question what do you think about this what is your opinion oh it's really the question <laughs> about it. i think to be honest sometimes i don't think it's on the industry. Sometimes it's about dancers because I know big dancers, they always ask for money, like ask for their rights. But like when you have a lot of hundred thousand of dancers, they, they don't, they don't like, they haven't been in this, in this, like, what's it called? dancing in uh, professional dancing for a lot of years so they don't understand how to communicate and stuff like that in the, if i am a big professional dancer if i say no to a big job and then the industry asks, hey you dancer right they don't care if like you're good or not they're like ah you dance right would you want to do this for free they're like yeah so oh it's, my God, yes. um, it's dance it's on the mostly the newbie dancers like they just take jobs just to have experience so it's not the industry. If I think if we could change that mentality, if, for example, oh, don't say yes to a $100 uh, job or $50 job. You should ask for more. 
if every dancer said that, I think the industry would be like, shit, we actually need dancers to entertain like the audience. We need that. So we're going to pay you guys more. I think then the in industry will change. But who, girl, I don't know how long it's going to take. It's going to take sometimes a while. I, I'm 100% sure. But uh, the thing is what I pre appreciate, we have a lot of industry. Not a lot some industries that really appreciate dance and give them they know like uh, yeah you earn this you need this like like what like which ones uh like i know like what's her name missy elliott she really appreciate oh, a lot There's, yeah he says like hey i know you guys are hard work i think maybe she hard does be... a lot of dances like so of, she yeah. knows, like hey they need to get for like this there she sees dancers come from the streets hey that's what they do. That's what basically they live for. You should pay them what they earn. Like, so I really appreciate her. And then a lot of, I don't have forgotten names, but like I seen that like a lot of singers, rappers, uh, project leaders, photographers, manager, producer, like a lot of people appreciate dancers. They're like, yeah, we understand like you guys work your ass as up so many hours. You deserve this kind of amount and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's good to see. So, but, but how you will, how you think, how more and more people will be like that? What will we'll take? People always love to take the easy road. So when they have a budget, they're like, okay, we have this much. Let's say Twenty thousand dollars. Like, yeah, we have this much. Who can we find that can take the at least amount, so they would take the easy road? And I don't know. I don't know how much it will take to like industry change. I think it's gonna take a long time, to be honest. What dancers on their on their side can can do to to help to change it or something? What do you think? I understand their worth they are worth more than they think they are like don't just say yes to a job they're not gonna give you anything like you know i can do a better one like if you are a new beginner like if you think oh this will give me context this would look great on my cv and stuff like that yeah yeah do it but don't say yes to all of the free free jobs you get you should think okay i've been dancing this this much i know i have knowledge of this um uh, background i have this kind of like you have done so many stuff you should know like okay now i'm gonna pursue dancing forever i need to pay my house i need to pay this 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 and what can i do will i have a normal job educate myself to be i don't know a doctor a lawyer to get money to pay the house and stuff like that or do i want to go for dancing but if i go for dancing why would i say yes to a lot of free jobs when i know i can get money if i say hey i'm worth more i've been dancing for this many years i have this kind of knowledge i've done this 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 give me what i i'm worth like okay that's what I tell people yeah gotcha gotcha yes. gotcha yeah yeah D I, I think I would just have the class question and let's yeah. finish it up. Yeah, I think it's like yeah. for you guys. Yeah, it's like yeah. 10, 20. Yeah. In there, I was just like a like final something. Mm -hmm. Like you said, like, for example, Asia, they're like more like when they train, for example, they, uh, they're more like hardworking, work ethic, yeah. like super work crazy, ethic, right? Yes. They have a really good work ethic. What yeah. do you think, like, Europe, is more what? What do you think? Ooh. Like nobody can compete with Asia culture. Everybody knows. Like when I went to LA, everybody knows. Like Asian culture, everybody works really hard there. No matter if you have a dance job, a normal job, everybody works their asses off. Yeah. Here, like, they don't do that much. They complain, oh, why do I need to work that many hours? Why do I need to do this, 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 this? So it's really a big difference, to be honest. I understand it. Here, people complain actually more that they have to work 
for eight okay. hours. What a, what about America? How you think? Mm. You've been here eight months in LA, right? Uh, no, I haven't been there eight months. I've been there three months. Oh, okay. But yeah. still, it's a little yeah. long. I think it's kind of similar as here in Europe, to be honest. It's, it's not as hardworking as like in China or Korea or Japan. I don't gotcha. think so. Yeah. But there's getting better results than China and Japan and why? Yes, because they have uh, re- uh, resources. Mm-hmm. So Japan and China has resources too. Yeah, because of the American culture, they go there to to uh, teach uh, in Japan and China. But I, I, let me take back uh, that you said that American are getting better than, than yeah. Asia. I feel like Asian people, a lot of them are sick, actually, but nobody sees that because they think, oh, everything happens in America, everything they say happens in America, but they don't see, like, I follow, like, do you know Rain? What's her name? Rain? Rainier? She's Riata. a really good dancer. Maybe. She's Riata. really good. We have the Chris Brown choreographer, dancer. From Japan. What's her name again? Riata. Okay, something Rihata. like that. Riata. I thought I thought it was rain or something like that. But yeah, really good dancers, like low key dancers. I see them come from Asia, so I'm like. Shit. What about Leah Kim from Korea? I'm sure you know her. Leah Kim, owner of yeah, 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 One Million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leah Kim, I know. Okay, good. Yeah, so it's good you can see them. What about China? You cannot see them. They don't have accounts. Like, just some of them have accounts. They don't post that much because they're blocked. They just use VPN. So, yeah, this- for me, like, I build my name, my career, everything there. And when I come here, I'm like, no yeah. one. No one yeah. even heard about me. Even yeah. see or whatever. Whatever yeah. I did is like, is like, doesn't count. You know what that's, I mean? That's what it is also here in Europe, to be honest. Like, you can be big in Europe. And then you go to America and be like, ah, oh, nobody knows you. But some of the European dancers are getting big in. Shay. Shay. Yeah, Shay, Shay yeah. is really good. Everyone knows him. Everyone yeah. likes him. Yeah. And Toby now, he's really good. Quick yeah. style. Yeah. So yeah. some. Not Quick most style, people. they're more like artistry. Like LA people doesn't know them because LA people doesn't dance those styles. The yeah. same as Kinjas. LA people doesn't go to Kinjas take classes. It's mm-hmm. like separate a little bit. Yeah. The lab is separated a little bit. Like, yeah. industry is just like the studios we went to. And, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah. What would you say about Latin culture dancers? What do you think about Latin people? Do you know something? Did you have experience? No, I'm going to be honest. I haven't taken a lot of Latin dance at all. I've just been. Maybe I took ooh, one salsa class in my life. It was a long time ago. But I feel like everything got influenced by a lot of culture. Like when we have house dance, we have uh, steps also from salsa. Like we implement. Oh, of course. That's it came from salsa. Exactly. Everything like <laughs> it's, it got came from salsa. salsa. It, there was dance yeah. and salsa implemented it into hip hop, of course. Exactly. Exactly. And house dance got inspired by Afro dance. So everything actually goes in together. Everybody yeah. gets inspired by people and then they put it like. Yeah. Different styles. Oof. What do you think about uh, dancers from Africa, for example? Well, from Africa, they, they, they people they're getting huge. A lot of people now do. But what do you think about their work ethic? Like how they get good practicing or why people or... don't see? Yeah, yeah, they. It's their culture. They just dance for fun. They don't think of to post anything. They're just having fun. Weddings, not weddings. Just having fun with your friends. They just go okay. out there and. So that's an that comes another question. You say yeah. like Asians work hard, yeah, and they're good. And now yeah. we have these people who are just having fun, yeah, and they're good. What what I told you like the biggest difference for me now yeah. here's too. There's no judgment mostly, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's just having fun in like yeah. doing you mostly. Yeah. While in China everything is like boom, being perfect yeah. and like being super be perfect, like yeah. robot style, yeah, yeah. But sometimes it's losing. 
it's not sometimes, but Chinese. I, I talk about Chinese. I don't talk about Asian, all Asian, because yeah. I just talk what I had experience with. Yeah. I will not uh, put labels on anyone no. if I don't know. So about China and mainland, especially mainland, yeah. which is blocked from Instagram, YouTube and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. People lack creativity. Not mm. everyone, of course. People who yeah. dance 10, 15 years, traveled mm. to LA many times, traveled to Japan, to Korea for trainings. They yeah. were open, you know. So yeah. what do you think? What could we Having fun and get better or working hard and get better. What's the difference? What's the key to be good? What do you think? I think actually when you start to dancing and having fun then it becomes better because you're not dancing to to impress somebody if you understand what I mean yes I absolutely I'm not here to impress anybody I'm just here to have fun and if you like it I, I appreciate that I love that you like it So when you're starting having fun, it will start getting better. And also, like, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying that people that work really hard don't get better. Of course, they get better. Yeah. There is your mind. You just want to work hard to get attention and get approved. Yes, good job. Or you just want to have fun with your friends, just dance, just, just to be happy. I think that would, like, you would be happier. You would be like, yeah. Like you would think, oh, I want to go to, like I want to go dance with my friends. I just want to go out and dance and blah, blah, blah. You don't think like, oh shit. Now I have to go and practice because I have to, I have to do this to like get better. I have to do it. Like your mindset is going to get a little bit fucked up. Like you, you should also always think back to why you started dancing. It's a really good question. Why did I start dancing? Was it because I, I want to be better? Was it because, oh, I want to impress somebody? Or was it because, oh, I want to be better, but I want to have fun? For me, it's like, oh, I just wanted to have fun. Like, I love dancing. I just wanted to do it for fun. And then it became a job. And then I never saw it as a job when people ask me, oh, what's your job? I'm like, oh, yeah, what is my job? Yeah, I just teach and dance. And they're like, that's your job? I'm like, oh, shit. I didn't think so. If it was a job, exactly. like, I didn't think it was a job. So I did it for fun. So... That's what, like, people should understand. You should Period. dance that because it makes you happy. Yeah. Period. So that's what's my difference between China and America now. It's yes. learning how to enjoy myself and then yeah. care what other people think for real. Yeah. Just because yeah. I love dance so much and I care so, so much. I sometimes too much trying to be the best. Yeah. While I just need to just connect with myself, love it mm -hmm. so much, and yeah. just do it. So that's biggest difference between yeah. being dancer in China. I mean, yeah. trying to be the best dancer. I mean, yeah. not just dancer, but yeah. being working, working hard towards yeah. that goal, yes. and doing the same. In yeah. Yes. So that's true. Mm -hmm. And whatever, like I have Mohammed watching. Yeah, his last mm -hmm. one to stay. <laughs> if you had more people or everything what I would just say the point is just that yes mm -hmm. so it doesn't yeah. matter you're from China America Europe Africa Latin um, countries uh, Australia I mm -hmm. don't know whatever part you're at it's exactly. just it's just all same same one one language one people yes exactly yeah there's no difference like yeah it's cool yeah. cool thank you for For all this. <laughs> no, thank thinking, you for asking me. Thinking, thinking for like all these questions. Like, mm. yes. <laughs> thank yes. you for giving so much information. No. I really like <laughs> gain new thoughts. Thank yes. you so much for that. Yes, you're welcome. Yo, thank you for and... asking me. It was really give me hard questions that I really had to like, whoa, the, how do, should I answer this? good way because a lot of people say like some stupid shit like you're like what did she just say so i had to think like don't say something stupid say like how you want to say it because sometimes when i speak i speak fast and i just say a lot of stuff so i had to start, I take a step back and just 
think first. I'm like, okay, this is how I really want. To okay. I have this problem too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I I really miss you. I had so yes. much. I, I had so good experience with you in LA. Yes. And just you. like your energy is always so positive and calm yeah. and good, peaceful. You know. Yeah. Like wow, really. It was fun actually in LA. I missed LA and I miss you and I miss all of the dancers. It was, yeah. I had so much fun. We should. Hey, it's not over. I'm coming back when to it, LA, no, it's not over. When it get better, just come here. Let's oh, well. catch up. Life yeah. goes on. New, new, mm -hmm. new goals. You know, yes. we're getting more mature oh, yeah. and doing things, mm -hmm. and we will just get better, and we will yes. dance better, we will jam better, have more fun, have we'll yes. have more fun. We'll do that. Um, yeah, and yeah. so. Take care then now for, mm -hmm. for now just take care of yourself in there. Thank you. In, Sweden, <laughs> yes. in beautiful Europe. So thank you. Girl. And we wait for you here. <laughs> yeah, I will do that. I would say have a nice day because your day just started. Yes, yes. And my day ended. I need to sleep because I'm working tomorrow. So yes. <laughs> good night, girl. I'm gonna say good night good because night. I'm sleeping, but good have a night. nice day. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Dreams. <laughs> Bye Thank everyone you. who's watching. Bye. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bye. Bye.